Hi, friends. Yes, we are covering the swatches of the Suku Lip Fluid Fog Anglo, the shades that I have, just so you can have all the shades in one place on a video because I do have several Suku videos on my channel, but the Fluid Fog shades are scattered throughout. And if it's tough for you, if you're interested in purchasing one, it's like, which was the video that Alicia has talked about? 08 Suyama. I know it can be very confusing. It's confusing to me and I'm the one who owns them all. So I thought it would be helpful to to apply all the Suku Fluid Fog and Glow shades that I own, I will not be swatching the limited edition shades simply because I don't know which ones are still available or not. And I think I would like to reach out to my Suku contact just to ask for a PDF if they have it, the shades that are limited edition, which collections they came from. And then maybe I will still film a video swatching those shades just to have it. But for now, we'll just cover the permanent shades. Now, unfortunately, I don't don't have all of the fluid fog shades. I only have five out of the eight. And for the fluid glow, I only have six out of the eight. I will complete this collection eventually. I do have a lot of Suku lip products in addition to the sheer matte lipsticks, which I would like to do a video of as well. So stand by for that. And if you happen to search for Suku lipsticks and my face appeared, and if it's your first time here, Hi! Hi, I'm Alicia, an online coach who specializes in flexibility and body weight strength and who also loves to talk about the makeups. So here on my channel, you will mostly find beauty content on my Instagram, movement and fitness, and you know, maybe a flexibility tutorial on my channel. I have like five. With the intro out the way, I think it's time for you to come in a little closer. <gasps> That's enough. Before we get into the swatches, I wanted to briefly mention that each of the lipsticks retail for $43, I believe. When I go on Selfridges, it says $35.50. I think that's the UK price, not the US one. Suku is sold at Selfridges, Harrods, Cult Beauty, Liberty London. I think that's it. The shipping fee is quite high for Selfridges, $30 no matter what your total purchase price is. However, they do have a subscription service where you pay 50 for the entire year for complimentary shipping no matter how much your purchase is. Now I think only appropriate to take if you find yourself ordering from Selfridges several times a year because if you spend the $30 again that's already 60 when you pay 50 once for unlimited shipping it's not a bad deal. Liberty London I don't believe has a shipping threshold. I'm not entirely sure because when I ordered from them the shipping was free. Cult Beauty, I think, might be the same. All that to say, there are ways around getting Suku without paying exorbitant amount of shipping, but you kind of have to weigh out the pros and cons with that, especially if you're thinking about the Selfridges subscription or you rather just order from Cult Beauty or Liberty London. The Comfort Lip Fluid Fog, the liquid lipstick that gives a fresh locked-in color for a clear, captivating look. Comfortable, yet also dramatic, made with a higher ratio of film than the glow for additional crease prevention for a soft glow look as if enveloped in a gentle fog. I think that beautifully describes what this texture is like. Out of all the lipsticks I have tried that are in my collection, the Fluid Fog formula is by far the most unique, the most comfortable, and smooth wearing lipstick. It's not your typical lipstick bullet. It looks like a lip pigment, almost like a gloss. The fluid fog component is distinguishable by its matte finish, where you have the fluid glow here, distinguishable by the shiny finish. And we get to those swatches when we go through the glow shades. Here is the doe foot applicator, very flexible. It has the right amount of product to deposit on the lip. And again, you see that nice bend. So it wraps your lips well. It makes it easy for the user to apply the color and again unmatched in terms of texture. It's a creamy moussey formula that yes although it is fog, fog indicates the more matte finish. It's not transfer proof or super matte but because of the matte finish it won't wear as quickly as the glow formula so you have to decide on that. It's not as shiny as a glow formula but what I love about Suku lipsticks is the color science. I think so sophisticated and nuanced. It's not just the red but there's so many different notes of red found in shade one and as you see here when we get to this swatch so you, you see that I'm a fan. We'll start with 01 Azukiyame. Azukiyame is a muted maroon but it's oh 
Wow, I haven't worn this shade in a very long time and seeing it now, man, it wraps me in fall and winter instantly. I would, I could still wear it now, that's not a problem. Just the muted maroon tone is very grown and sexy, but it's still fresh and there's still a vibrancy, I think, that exists in the shade. It's not dull, despite, again, not it being in your face red, it's just the right amount, slightly desaturated absolutely perfect and it just applies so easily and you see the lip texture it doesn't overemphasize lip texture it's just soft on the application and beyond comfortable to wear next up is 02 my benny here we have your classic red and even still i think a little desaturated which i like for every day it makes it feel less intimidating and to give context when i think about lisa eldridge the red color in her collection that is like wham bam super blue red even pat mcgrath's elson i think i would consider to be in that same vibrant red category very much appropriate for the holidays or just to have that knockout lip this i feel great to wear every day it doesn't call too much attention but just enough to, again, give the lips a beautiful color, to freshen up the complexion, to give it life, and I think it's easy to dress the eyes lightly. I just have a little bit of Linda Halberg's Infinity Glam Palette, that neutral shade through the crease and lid, and applied my favorite mascara duo, the Issa Mascara and Cleo Professional Kill Lash, all day, every day. A little bit of bronzing here on the cheeks, and again, 02 just is... It goes well with it. Classic and elegant, can't go wrong. Next, we have 03 Watai Chigo. Oh, we moved into the mauve tones and I forgot how much I love this shade. It's just so perfect for fall. Even for now, it's a mauve berry tone. It's not in your face, it's just right. It has a little bit of color. It gives the complexion something, I think, perfect to pair with your favorite rose or berry tone blush. Oh my god. You can even go mauve with the eyes to create a monochromatic look. It's all there. And I'm not sure if you saw when applying. Again, the flexible doe foot applicator makes it seamlessly easy to get it around the corners of your mouth. That's my problem area. When I see footage of me, sometimes I'm like, you, you didn't you didn't fill in the corners alicia i made sure to do it this time and man it's so easy to get around these corners neatly and to keep the color on the lip so it doesn't escape far and even though it's a fluid fog formula more matte than the shiny glow there's still some sheen you know what i mean i love it unfortunately i do not have 04 hanashimo 05 oiju kuka and 06 kiruzome I might just have to get them and do this video over again. I do have 07 Hoi Jiro and ugh, this is like my ultimate chocolate brown fall color right here. I don't know what it is about this shade. It just is like a smoky brown. It gives me like that deeper rich brownie beige that just goes perfectly with everything, especially if I want to keep it minimal. It gives my lips a little bit of color, not too much. In, in terms of me wearing something on the beige side of the spectrum, it doesn't disappear on my face, right? It brings my lips forward. It's like my lip color tinted a deeper brown. And it's exceptional. And lastly, 08, Harutsumi. Now this is definitely more pink beige, but I'm not mad at it. It makes it work where it's obvious I have color on the lip, a little warmer, leaning, again, more of that warm pink. Acceptable, right? I would consider this shade to be in the Pillow Talk realm. In fact, Pillow Talk might be a little cooler pink and this a little more warm beige. Going in with Pat McGrath's uh, structure, if you are my skin tone, you can pair this with a darker liner just to create some contrast. It doesn't have to be a deep, rich brown. It could be somewhere in the middle just to create a little bit of separation if you want because sometimes I like that blushed look and the lips to not have that barrier, an apparent one, so it could kind of just go into that monochromatic vibe, but I absolutely adore the shade, especially if I go rosy on the eyes, you know, if I'm having a 27 type of a day, I could use Harutsumi as the lip color of choice perfectly matched. Now those are all the fluid fog shades that I have. Again, only have five out of the eight, but man, looking at these shades again, I, I wanna get 
three. I want to get the rest of the three. Is that too much to ask? But I do have more of the Lip Fluid Glow. It says here that the liquid lipstick that gives a fresh locked in color for clear and captivating look like the fluid glow made with a more oil rich formula than the fog it leaves a muted radiant finish for well moisturized glowing look yes indeed this is like the liquid luxe lipstick of life the texture is beyond silky smooth it goes on like a dream and even when it wears throughout the day it doesn't feel uncomfortable it doesn't dry down to like that sticky i've been on your lips all day type of a texture it wears elegantly and when you apply more it feels amazing again across the board the fluid fog and fluid glow formulas from suku unparalleled i can't again i only have six out of the eight so why don't we begin with 01 Akatsumugi. Now you can see just from the shine alone that this red has a lot more impact than the red we saw from the fog line and I would think this appropriate again. It's party time, party time shade. Not bad however to wear during the day. Just make sure you clean up the inside of your lips so you don't get any transfer on your teeth. This is your classic shiny red but again the comfort and ease of application makes this color less intimidating to reach for on a daily basis. Basis, I feel but I do understand if you're like whoa because of the shine and also it's a little more vibrant than the red found in the fog line I feel the red there is a little more muted this a little more in your face but still beautiful can't go wrong with a shiny red lip the shades I don't have unfortunately 02 Musu Bishu and 03 Hanai Kara but I do have 04 Irogure we're going into the rich tan and this has like a slight yellowish tint it's very earthen type of a like a natural state shade if you will absolutely gorgeous i mean this is like another fall shade i would consider wearing i would also wear this during the summertime paired with more of my yellow tone bronzer colors whether it be the hula caramel or mented cosmetics yacht is it yacht no it's beach bun beach bum I think going in with more mustard tones maybe from melt Gemini one or even rubbish from melt rust so this lipstick can be paired with like the more grungy eyeshadow colors that I think hard to well maybe not hard to pair with a lipstick because naturally you'll pick something either like a dark brown like a neutral type of a shade a beige new your nude shade but to have something a little more specific than that with the actual yellow tone it's almost like I wouldn't say it's mustard it's more like a like when you wet clay and you have that shade maybe it will look a little darker I just think it's so unique it is I guess you would consider this more like a, a tan orange but not super orange just enough just enough Enough. Zero five, we have Yuhi. Here we go, our vibrant orange shade. Now, something to note about the formula is not super opaque, but I don't mind that. If you can see close up, maybe not from here, you can see a little bit of my lip underneath, but I like that. I just think it makes it easier to apply if you want to build up the color, you can, but you can still see the entirety of this orange shade. It doesn't look like I applied a gloss that has a strong tint. It still looks like a lipstick. I think the shine helps to even out the application overall again i don't mind that it's like super opaque like to have the option to build color depending on how you like to wear your lip i just think it's best across the board when you're dealing with a lot of people and they have their preferences why not start middle of the road and then the formula itself has the capability to give you more intensity if you wish to apply more but it won't feel goopy it won't overwhelm the lip and this color specifically i adore is great great for summer i'm sure you could probably already tell fantastic over the orange sheer matte lipstick the limited edition from the summer collection that released this year that would be a fantastic combination i mean both the orange shade will just be in everyone's face and that's what it's about just pow 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 if you're going to commit to this shade you gotta do it big next we have number six fuji shizuku this could be a tricky shade but somehow suku made it so that it it i would consider this a neutral obviously it's not i understand that we're now in the more 
Hmm, I would say plum leaning violet. Definitely more purple than red. You have a little bit of both that exists in this shade. I love the hue, great. Again, if you wanted to go light with the eyes or go wham bam, super plum with the eyes and to pair it with this shade. Oh. And this color specifically goes on beautifully smooth. The consistency, when I applied Fluid Glow, it's just like a pleasure. Satisfying to apply on the lip. I'm, mm. ah. But again, back to the shade, I can't pinpoint what makes it exceptional. They really pin down a, a perfect companionship between purple, plum, violet, red. They nailed it like right there, right center. It's a grown and sexy shade typically, but there's something so fresh about it. And it just pulls me together. It just pulls me right up. Zippers are zipped, buttons are buttoned up, everything's tucked in, okay? I think this is what the shade does. This is what I would wear probably, you know, if I would ever go to an interview ever again, I would wear this color because it gives you the color, but it still looks professional. Because I know we find ourselves in environments where th they have their parameters, right? You know, you can't wear this, you can't wear that. You could wear this. This is rule follow. This is a rule following color, but with a little bit of punch. Next, 07, Hana Gumori. Here we go. We've entered the cooler mauve tone, and man, oh man, this is what I would wear with Supreme Mobs, without a doubt. I know everyone hates that palette, but I actually. <laughs> I actually like it. Some of the shadows are a little dry, but I find that when everything is said and done, I love the looks. And this color is prime, optimal for that palette. Even if you wanted to pair this with She's in Parties, I would say you could pair number, was it number 06? Fuji Shizuku, the professional purple. <laughs> that would have been great with She's in Parties. Uh, what else comes to mind? Maybe if you had the Patrick Ta Dimensions 2, I know there were some mauve pinks in there. If you just stuck to those colors and not the reds, you could pair with that. If we're sticking with the Suku brand, the second quad, I think is 116 from the Summer Collection, the cooler tone one. <gasps> There's also another quad that released, I believe in 2020 spring. It was all rose. I think this will look remarkable with that quad. This is such a unique color. It's cooler than the ones we've previously seen, but it doesn't drain color out of my face. It doesn't make me, my lips, my complexion appear gray, but still holds true to this more mauve tone on the lip. And lastly, 08, Suyama. This is my ultimate beige shade. It's a little cooler in tone, I know, but that makes it a little grungy, you know what I'm saying? A little cooler than neutral, but acceptable. I absolutely love it. I could wear this by itself without a liner, and it still is just great with whatever I'm wearing on the eyes, which makes it so versatile in terms of whatever palette I use, I could just slap on Suyama, and it's perfect. And it's a brownie beige, again, leaning a little cool, especially for my complexion fine with it. It's just an easygoing shade. I don't know what to say. It's one of the most remarkably formulated beige shades I have ever encountered, I have ever worn. Out of all the beiges that I have, probably there's something from the sheer matte lipstick line. Uh, what else, what else, what else? The Gucci lipstick, Penny Beige. Penny Beige, fantastic color. I think I had dubbed that like my most favorite beige ever, which could still hold true. I haven't worn that lipstick in a bit. It's in the drawer. Maybe I should take it out. Stay right there. Penny Beige, Suyama. Suyama definitely, I think, is more cool in tone. Penny Beige, should I apply it quickly just so you can see? Yeah, Penny Beige is a little lighter. Is a little lighter. I think this actually reminds me of Harutsumi, the Fluid Fog shade, 08. It almost has like that peachiness to it. Mm. I think this might be a little more peachy pink than Penny Beige, but you can clearly see that compared to Suyama, and I'm just gonna slap this right on top. Suyama is a lot cooler. There's a cooler shade in the Gucci line, I believe. I forgot what it's called, and it might be a, a closer match to 08. But like I said, I can't get enough of this shade. I reach for it all the time. I might have to get another one. I'm happy it's a permanent shade. All the shades that I showed in this video are permanent in all 
all eight shades so you don't have to worry about rushing and grabbing them that's why i didn't want to show the limited edition ones because if it's one that we particularly love and it's no longer available well that kind of sucks so that's why i wanted to stick with these and i'm aware it's not a complete collection so thank you for still watching this video despite me not swatching all eight shades but i don't mind coming back here and doing it again so that's totally fine but i was inspired to do this because i was going through all of my suku makeup and i just lost track of the shades that i already own that i have what they look like on me and this was such a fantastic refresh to revisit these shades and now my love is just surging i want to wear these more often so i need to put them out so they're right in front of me whatever eye look i decide to do i now remember what they look like now when i see the numbers when i see the lipsticks i could kind of better match up with whatever eye look i have going on for the day so i'm really excited to dive back into the fluid fog <laughs> sorry fluid fog and fluid glow formulas and yeah if you want to see the limited edition shades the sheer matte shades i definitely want to do that video i don't think i have all of them but i'll swatch what i have and that is it fam hopefully this was helpful i will see you down in those comments and until then that is a wrap thank you all so much for watching I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And until then, I will see you on here again with another review tutorial, Suku Lip Extravaganza, or monthly faves. Take care, and I will see you again soon.